Hey, what's up? Um, fucking overtime. Oh, it's the dispenser. I dispense various items. I can also function as a security measure if I am rebooted, which is what Dr. Eli did after my son. Intruder detected. You are the intruder. Prepare to be exterminated. Initiating extermination program. Okay. Because it didn't wait everything. Just... Uh, movie. Dispenser. Apparently murderous now. Is there love left inside? As fun as just straight up shooting, but it'll work. The dispenser was Scout. He, he. He's the Scout. <laughs> This is this. Oh no. I should have seen it coming because, like, he was a baseball player. Especially Eli. He's always so busy with medicine stuff. Never wants to spend time with me. Oh, you cannot... The ones with holes, you cannot break. Shows off his bacon legs. It's away from nowhere, can't stop him. Back home I had tons of friends, you should have seen me! But I had to move late last year because of this job. Mom doesn't really appreciate my job, says it's too dangerous. Eh, what does she know? It's not dangerous, it's just lonely. That's all I got. Like when I moved here, it was all new. Look at me. I've been living here for a year and I still don't have any friends, except Eli. 
He just stuffs you in a dispenser when you get on his nerves. What a freaking jerk. Oh my god. Maybe the problem isn't them. Maybe it's me. Like, am I too clingy? Oh man, yeah. I didn't leave you alone for a second. Man, that explained why Eli hates me. Why nobody wants to spend time with me. I just clung to Eli because he was the first person I met here. He was like the only familiar face. And it still is. Shit! Oh, this is gonna be one of those fights, isn't it? He's gonna... He's gonna be one of those days. Now I gotta do... The whole thing over again. Yeah. I gotta focus. This is one of those, uh, Morgan focus up times. Explains why Eli hates me. Damn. Everything just stayed so new to me, so overwhelming. But then I saw you, you. Remind me of my first love back home, a familiar face. It's also kind of why I'm in love with you, you know? One of the reasons, anyway. I just wanted to see a friendly new face every day. Not Eli, not those bluesers. Someone who actually cares if I live or die. Just a friend. Well, I guess I gotta be strong then, don't I? Makes no sense just moping around. I gotta get myself together, get out there, and make some friends. If someone doesn't want to forget about them, I'm Scott the Scout. I'm great the way I am. Yeah! Whoa! Thanks for making me realize that. You're good at this. Were you a psychiatrist or something in your past life? I think we should stop this now. Sorry for uh, attacking you and things. Got a bit overexcited. Oh, and also sorry for the stuff I did as a dispenser and all. In my defense, I swear sometimes that thing acted on its own. Boy, the scout doesn't even feel weird that he just poured his heart out to you. Oh my god, he's tall. So, now what? Would you... Would you like to go on an actual date with me? Now, of course you don't have to. I will understand if you don't want to. I don't want to force you on anything on action. What? You do? Aw, oh, man, awesome! Alright, you still have some business to take care of. Yo, 
Remember when I sang about how Misha would certainly kill you? You know, I actually think you'll do just fine. I mean, if you could survive a toaster with a flamethrower, then an undefeated killing machine won't stop you. Eh. I'll pick you up later, you know, for the date. See ya. You can do it, pally. Oh, hello. You're off to kill Misha, I've heard. Do you know what it's like to work your full life on something only to have it be destroyed at the last second? You've put so much effort and time into it, and then it was all for nothing in the end. At least I had fun, right? Well, don't let me stop you. I couldn't even if I tried. When you see Misha, please tell him he was my favorite person to experiment on. That's all. Scout? What on earth are you doing outside of your dispenser? Oh, hey, Doc. I've got a gift with your name on it. I wanted to give it to you for stuffing me in that dispenser. I guess we're finishing this tonight. Right now. fight Misha without any health items. Is this gonna be the backstory drop? of New Mexico. On his deathbed, he left his land to his two sons, Redmond and Blue Talk. Because he knew how much the two hated each other, he told them to share it. Each man brother wanted the entire land to himself. They each hired mercenaries to fight over the land. But the mercenaries got old, replaced by younger ones. As the year passed, many of the new mercenaries passed on as well. The two teams, medics, Eli of Red and Sonny of Blue, secretly worked together. They wanted to build a machine to prevent death, one that not only healed but also brought people back from the dead. Misha, the blue medic's best friend, willingly served as their guinea pig. The two medics built a prototype of the machine and put, placed him in it. One day, the red team's strongest member fell. Misha, being Blue's team's strongest fighter, was made an offer by Redmond. Fight for Blue instead, Red instead for twice the money Blue Talk paid him. After long consideration, Misha left and left Blue to work for Red. Heartbroken, Sonny left as well. He traveled back to the hospital he worked in before he joined Blue. While Eli and Misha worked together, Sonny worked alone. A family of a father, a mother, and their child knocked on Sonny's door. Sick and poor, they had nowhere to go. Sonny took them in and tried to cure their illness. He was unsuccessful to save the parents. Sonny had an idea to save the child, at least. Another prototype of the machine he and Eli worked on. He put it on the dying child. The next day, the child died. Sonny was distraught. He buried the bodies of the family under his favorite flowers. As war raged on in the Badlands, a war raged on in Sonny. He shut himself in. He neither let anyone in nor anyone out. 
he made the decision to work on the machine until it finally worked. So did Eli, while well, Misha assisted him. It's not long until you will encounter Misha. The only thing that stands between the death of the Man Brothers and you. The only thing preventing the end of the battles of the Bantlands. If you die, Eli and Misha will fi finish the machine, and the battle will continue for all eternity. Oh, look at those two. How much they wish to destroy each other. How much they wish to control one another. How much they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Can you save them? Only a few steps to prevent you from meeting your destiny. In a bit, you will meet Misha. You and him at the wall of this land. Very good evening. But that's the suit. No! This is not my job. you. Right? No, it's not my job to do any of that. Everyone else did it before me already. But who are they to judge you? They're mercenaries. They kill, steal, throw out my face. Seems hypocritical to me. I don't just want to show you all the things you've done so far. You can come to your own conclusion there. So let me ask you a question. Ever inspected an enemy? If you did, you notice how it spat some numbers in your face. Damn it, you know what that means? It's an acronym. It stands for Depression Magnitude. <laughs> oh. The sadness of someone? A person with one damage. A person with damage has a death wish because of immense grief. The higher the damage, the less they care. The less they hold back when they want to hurt you. All because they can't control this world. Less control, more But you, you didn't let the band get you down. You reduced it. You gave people what they needed. Other times you did. You did. I almost finished playing chess with myself. Ha! Checkmate. Hello. Who wants to be crushed by? Oh. Is time already? I was not prepared, are you? It's weird. 
normally my heart would be beating fast. But now it's calm. Very calm. I will go to the next room. You know what happens there. Do not follow if you are not ready. Next time.